there are many people <coughs> calling them uh, enlightened. There are many people mm. calling themselves enlightened beings. Uh, nowadays, a lot of gurus in the West or, or whatnot. So, is it not better to learn from living guru than the text of a dead guru? Uh, first question. Second. Yeah, one by one. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Text of a dead guru like the Buddha's uh, suttas. Uh. Mm. Firstly, yeah. Uh, if a person is really highly attained, uh, <coughs> he will be humble and he will not want to boast. Uh, he will not want uh, fame and name. There are a lot of teachers uh, who like to hint uh, and even say openly uh, that they are enlightened, they are highly attained and all that. Uh, but uh, over the years, if you uh, look at the history of all these teachers, you'll find that most of them are fakes. Uh, Sama Sambuddha is very, very hard to find in the world. The Buddha said he contemplated the last 91 world cycles and he found only six Sama Sambuddhas. Uh, but there are a lot of uh, Buddhas uh, who are actually Pacheka Buddhas, who do not want to teach. Uh, so, the fact that we have a Samasambuddha is such a rare thing uh, that if you waste this opportunity, you're not likely to get another Sam Samasambuddha for a very long time. So, uh, it is silly uh, to waste this opportunity or to go and look for another teacher when you have the best teacher in the whole wide world. The Buddha already said uh, when he was about to enter Nibbana that uh, after he's gone uh, that we should take the Dhamma and the Vinaya that he has taught uh, to be our teacher after he has gone. Because uh, it doesn't matter whether he's alive or he's dead, uh, what is important is uh, his words, his instructions. Because his instructions uh, help us, uh, he has uh, shown us the <coughs> The, the, the best way uh, to get out of suffering. Uh, and uh, there is no other teacher that can compare with the Samasam Buddha. Pante, uh, the, the, I mean the following question to that is, is it not very arrogant to say that there is only enlightened being in the Buddha's Dhamma? Actually, the Buddha uh, said uh, that wherever you have the Noble Eightfold Path, la, you will have uh, enlightened beings. La. So the Noble Eightfold Path la, started with the, uh, with the Buddha. La. But after the Buddha came into the world, la, Hinduism was very much affected by the Buddha's teachings. La. So later, Hindu teachings uh, uh, start uh, tend to uh, to go in the direction of the, the Buddha's teachings. Uh. So uh, basically, uh, is is there any teaching uh, that has these eight factors? Uh, because uh, only these eight factors, uh, the noble eightfold path, uh, can bring you to enlightenment. Uh. Basically, also it's called sila, samadhi, and panya, oral conduct, concentration, and wisdom. Mm. 